Kia ora team, my name's Ben and let's talk about the difference between blood pressure and mean arterial pressure. So they both measure a similar thing, it's the pressure that the blood exerts on the walls of the arteries, but they do it in slightly different ways. Blood pressure, we get two numbers, 120 over 80 is our norm, the top number is our systolic, so that's the pressure on the walls of our arteries when the ventricles contract and we get a wave of pressure going through the artery. And then the bottom number, the diastolic, so D for diastolic, D for down, that's the bottom number. Um, that's the pressure in the arteries when the ventricles relax and they're filling. So that's gonna be less. So you imagine when, we, when the heart contracts, we get like a wave of pressure going through. And then when the heart relaxes, we get a relaxing and less pressure. So that's our blood pressure. Then our mean arterial pressure, it's doing the same thing. It measures the pressure that the blood exerts on the wall of the arteries. But because it's mean arterial pressure, it's the average pressure. So that systolic wave is spending less time than the diastolic portion. So with our mean arterial pressure, it takes into account the fact that we're more time is spent in diastole than systole. Mean arterial pressure is diastolic pressure plus a third of the systolic pressure, which is also known as the pulse pressure. And the average is 70 to 100 milligrams mercury. So whenever you see HG mercury. They're both useful measures of cardiovascular health. Blood pressure is taken more routinely and then mean arterial pressure we tend to use on our more critical patients. All right team, happy studying.